at Ben and Kelly show if you want to DM us as we dive into the DMs. Kelly, you got this one? Matt said, hey, Ben and Kelly, need to know if I'm the jerk here because I don't think I am. Mm. After eight years of knowing each other's phone passwords, I just changed mine to something my wife doesn't know. I did it because she was snooping through it Oop. and got mad about a text I sent to a coworker she took out of context. Oop. Since she didn't know the backstory, trust me, I have nothing to hide. She got her feelings hurt, and I don't like the snooping anyway. And my feeling is that it causes unnecessary drama I don't need. She thinks changing it was a jerk move. Is she right? Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean... Hmm. Ah. That's really tricky because the fact that she was snooping, like, I don't pick up my husband's phone and just randomly start scrolling and checking out his messages and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I like, don't think she did either. I think he probably gave her a reason to do that. Well, I, mm, it, he, he said she was snooping through it. Yeah, but... got mad about a text, like she saw a text. Right, that's that's what that's probably what she was looking for. That's what I'm saying, like... like well, th- But I think that's bad, right? Like, that shows a lack of trust. Now, he's saying he has nothing to hide. Like, there's nothing nefarious going on. Yeah. So, I think there needs to be some trust there. Like, I don't don't have anything to hide either, but if my husband just starts picking up my phone and starts scrolling through all my stuff and clicking on all my message threads and all this, you know, that'd be weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I guess my only point is... I, I wonder if Matt was doing something that set up a red flag to, to his wife to make her suspicious, to make her go into detective mode and be like, wait, who's Amber? And well, listen, I don't I don't know, though, if I don't know, I'm just go guessing to detective mode. We if we have concerns, we talk about it, but I don't think we start invading each other's privacy because well, we're we're thinking something's up. Well, sure, that's a perfect world. We don't live in one, so you know that's not. If he's something... got re- if he's doing repeated things, mm-hmm. maybe then that's what it requires, and he's constantly denying. You know, when she brings it up to him, then okay. But I don't know. So you're not thinking he's the jerk for changing passwords? Well, I think if he's coming to us asking us, I don't think he's the kind of guy that's doing a ton of things. That's sending up a bunch of red flags. Well, he he wants an army in his corner. That's what he wants to go back to his wife. And be like, well, Ben and Kelly said. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, as long as whatever we say goes, everyone's gonna be like, oh, okay. Well, if Ben and Kelly said. It. Well, I mean, it's right because Ben and Kelly said it. <laughs> I don't know. I think I I don't I don't think it's cool to just have free reign to just snoop through your partner's things. Yeah, I mean, I think part of it is, is look, I have access to all of my wife's stuff. Yeah. I don't, though. Right. I, I, I don't, I mean, I don't snoop, though. You know, and so right. I, I, think, I think that's probably where some of that trust is, too, where it's like, all right, I could if I wanted to. However, I don't need to because I don't have a reason to. Right. You know, well, and there are times... Like, for instance, if we're driving and he needs to respond to, like, a work text or something, he'll give me his phone and say, hey, will you respond to this text and say this yeah. and send that for me? And, you know, it's that kind of stuff. But I'm not ever, like, picking up his phone and scrolling around, clicking on his emails and his texts, say, what's what's he doing? Who's he talking to? What's the password? Booty liquor one, two, three. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that what it was? No, it was not. Oh. It was just booty. One, oh. two, three. You added, <laughs> I added, you added the, the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, some texts from listeners. Beth says, yes, Ben, he was being shady, so she had to check it out. Now, uh, that being said, don't snoop. Ask your partner about it. Um, <laughs> Lisa says, Kelly, you're so precious. <laughs> oh, no. She's like patting you on the head. A little condescending pat on the head. Unfortunately, this is not how life works. The wife <laughs> took the text exactly as it was. He's giving her reason for concern. Uh, Eric says, Ben, what's wrong with you? Kelly is right. His wife shouldn't be snooping, but him changing the password makes it look suspicious. Well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, agreed. 
And Erica said she's right, period. He looks very guilty doing that. I'm not a snooper, but if my husband changed his password, I would lose all trust. Sounds like they both have trust issues that need to be resolved. Passwords are not the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then then Terry is, like, throwing out a conspiracy theory here. Maybe she's doing something, and her guilty conscience has her looking at his phone. I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, we could be throwing out all sorts of weird scenarios. I mean, honestly, uh, we threw out the scenario that that there's an Amber that um, is... You did. You threw all the Ambers under the bus. Is is Well, let's be fair. I think you owe an apology to all the Ambers. No, no. Ambers, within the sound of my voice, no. That... Uh. There's a stigma that comes with having the name Amber. What are you saying? And I'm just saying. Are you attacking you, all Ambers no, right now? No, but Ambers know and they 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 accept it. They don't know. Yeah, they do. They don't know. Yeah, they do. What about Ashley's? Are you going to throw all the Ashley's out there too? Why are you throwing Ashley under the bus? I, I said think, Amber. I feel like Ashley's and Ambers are like very similar. So you're saying Ashley. <laughs> Our text line is going to blow up with all the Ashleys <laughs> and the Ambers saying, oh, listen. No, I didn't say anything about Ashleys. I think Ashleys no, are fine. No, you, you, you threw Ambers yes. under the bus. No, but uh, Ambers already Ashley's know. Ambers bus. already know, so they're not they going to be know. offended. They don't know. They're nice people. All right, sorry. All we are nice arguing. People. We are arguing. But uh, <laughs> Matt still has the issue. And so I, I, I'm i saying, look, um, maybe, yes, maybe you should... Y- y- Changing it would just kind of shut it down. Like, okay, stop snooping. You know, you have nothing to worry about. Stop, you know. And now there can be room to have a deeper con- uh, uh, conversation about this. Oh, my God. Matt just messaged us. He said Amber is his wife's name. <laughs> oh, really? That's funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> I see, don't know if that's good or bad. See, so he knows. <laughs> He knows. Um, no, but but I'm saying that now there can be a deeper conversation about who's this B Amber, who's this other Amber that's uh-huh. that's rolling up in your DMs, and then he can explain and say, look, you know, you you misunderstood that. There's nothing, oh, and then gosh. and then there can be a period of time where then Matt can relax, and then all of a sudden there can be some sharing of passwords and stuff like that, because you know, Matt, there's going to be an oppor- there's going to be a situation that just like Kelly said. In the car, you're going to toss your phone over or your phone's going to buzz. You're going to be like, hey, I I need you to text Amber back and say, no, not today. I'm with my wife, you know. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So anyways, we could go on and on about this. But uh, but that that's what I'm 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 I guess. Yeah, I know you're not a jerk, but you need to you can't just end it here. Right. So you so are you saying Share your password with her? Or what are you saying? Just keep the password a secret? No, I'm saying... Uh-huh, you weren't listening to me at all. <laughs> I was saying... This is now an opportunity... Hi, bud. <laughs> 